Another normal situation that can happen, it's when, it doesn't matter what kind of setup, but you end up on the dog fight, but he was good and kicked the wizard and he slipped a leg away from your high figure and keep you on the head arm control. So what do you do from there? First, of course, you defend Dars, defend the guillotina, make sure you control his wrist. But then I'm gonna show what I like to do. I'm gonna set up the head right to the other side. Okay, let me show how we're gonna do that. So first, just a basic setup here from the dog fights. You can use the two one from here to look one, two, see grip. Very important, play grips even without the gi. To, to take his arm away for the can see that. You do the reason, I switch the hook, elevate my hip, come into the dog fight. Okay? No. Yes. It's just one example of one of the setup you can do it. But now, it's very common, the guys have a very good reason here, and they kick the leg out, and put me on the, on the, on the, on the head arm control, okay? First thing I have to do that, it's open my elbows a little bit, so if I feel like he put too much pressure on the, like a guillotina, I control the wrist, keep the head arm control a little bit, yes, I control the wrist. But now what I'm gonna do? I was doing the head right to the side, he's over me, I control the wrist to release the pressure, put pressure. Yeah, now I'm gonna walk to the other side, keeping my frame on the mat, okay, so my elbows on the mat. I stand up the right leg, go a little bit, open my elbows, pushing my shoulder forward for when he try on the hook, it's hard. If he pulls his hand on the mat and don't do the wizard, I'm already on the back. City belt, one hook, second hook. Boom. So I switch the side of the half guard. In shield, two and one look. Palm up, keep grip on his wrist. He can grip on his elbows. Stand, move his arm away, kick my leg for I'm able to sit up. Switch the hook here and close my knees. X, elevate my hip for I can free my leg. Dog fight. But he kick his leg out. And I can't wait too much here before he don't go to my back. He keep the, the, the guillotina, I control the wrist. See how I make a C grip here on the wrist? For he don't put too much pressure on my neck. And then I circle around, on the hook, pass the leg over, drive my shoulder forward. If he doesn't have time to do the wrist, I stand up myself, go around, sit belt, can put the bottom hook right away. Bring his hip with me. If he defend the second hook here, look how extend he step inside. Boom, one more time. And shield, point on the elbows, not on the wrist. See in different direction of my C grip here. Take it out because I don't want I want my free way for I can sit up. Switch the hook, and when I switch the hook, don't forget, close my knee, all the way, bring my leg all the way back, elevate my hip, dog fight. I make a mistake, I give him space, he kick the leg out. Boom. Oh, I don't need weight to work. See how I and the hook and go around? Like stabbing his chest here. And if he's too heavy and he protects the second hook, push the mat. And never let him escape my knee. So elevate your hip. Keep his hip between my legs. See how when he close the space here, bring it into your chest. I open my knee. Stretch the neck. Put the second hook. 